Yeah, hi there, back again. Now we're doing a leg extension. Correction, we're actually doing a leg curl. We just finished the leg extension. We're doing the leg curl. So the leg extension, which we, was in the previous frame, is basically working the front of the leg, or the quadricep group, and the main quadricep group is the rectus femoris, which goes from the hip right across the knee and attaches over the top of the knee. It actually holds the patella, or the knee, uh, in place, the top of the knee in place. Now, leg extension is the back of the leg of the hamstrings, and that muscle is called the bicep femoris, is the main one. And the bicep femoris is a very important muscle, it's, it's such that it actually attaches to the bottom side of the hip girdle. And if, it's, if your bicep femoris or your hamstrings are out of balance, it can put your whole back out. And I'll cover that in some of the other, some of the, other of the exercises that we do today. Now, to actually do this properly, it's a fairly simple exercise, but this machine here, which is a magnum machine, it's quite a good, uh, well-made machine, you'll see it's split in the centre so that we don't have any lower back pressure. We put our knees just on the pad here, we slowly lower down. Now, I'm talking to you off the machine here, but when you're doing the exercise, rest your head on the machine with, your, with the side of your face over to the right so there's no neck pressure. I don't, I don't want you to up like that with a uh, cervical neck, neck pressure, which is not really good for your back. So we'll just lie down, like so, and when we come up, we try and touch the back of the uh, glutes, or backside, and slowly down, using that principle of tension over time. Maximum stretch. See, that's a maximum stretch position. My legs are fully extended, but not hyperextended. Now, I'm coming up, touch the bum if I can, and hold it, one, two, slowly down, slowly down. I go down twice as far, or twice as slow as I go up, so I go up, one, and two, hold, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax, okay, right, so, this particular exercise, again, depending on the program I've got you on, whether it be level one, level two, level three, the advanced level, uh, basically I use the leg extension and the leg curl as, as a warmer, primarily a warmer or a pre-exhaustion for the leg exercises down the other side of the gym there. And then the main leg exercises that we do is some form of leg press in a compound uh, leg movement, in other words, we're using the, the quads, the hamstrings, the glute muscles, all those muscles rolled into one, uh, be it free weight squats, and I'll show you how to do a correct squat in the very next frame. Uh, the next frame, by the way, the next frame will be on a Cal Gym leg press machine. And the reason why I use this particular generation machine is apart from the fact that I know the guy who developed it, uh, a sports scientist called Leo Young, who's quite uh, well known in Australia, um, I found that these machines, uh, the Calgym Converging Arc machines, are probably biomechanically one of the best machines that I've ever used. Apart from the first and second generation Nautilus machines and uh, the other machines that we have here at Movements Fitness Centre is uh, uh, Magnum machinery, which all, all the angles are very, very good on those machines. So when, when you're looking at a gym, uh, what I suggest, you actually have a look at the sort of machinery that they've got, have a look at the brand names, and then go and ask a, uh, a very reputable, experienced uh, exercise physiologist or a trainer that's actually had, uh, say, 25 years plus experience, ask him about that particular machine. Because a lot of the machinery has got the wrong angles on it, it hasn't been built by people who train, or it's just been built uh, under a, a brand name and uh, the original uh, biomechanics of it being lost in the process or it's been built overseas somewhere where we haven't got control on the bio biomechanics of the machine. As a matter of fact, I've used some machines where your knees hurt and people think, oh, well, that's okay. Well, it's not okay. So you've got to be very careful on what machinery you train at. And uh, I'll just give a little plug for Movements Fitness Centre and my uh, great mate, Ross Jones, the owner here. We've been here now for, for uh, 15 years and uh, uh, Movements Fitness Centre has been in Brisbane for over 30 years. And uh, I'd like to thank Ross for making this facility available to do this DVD. 
And uh, if anyone's watching this uh, DVD and you're in the Baranda, Brisbane area, please come down to Movements Fitness Centre and we'll uh, sign you up and we'll get you working on some of these machines. Okay, we're over to the next frame.